Evening folks, just a quick video for you tonight. Um, on a recent video of mine, somebody put a comment on saying he loved the basing on those chin dits, which are in fact Aussies, but you know, look similar of course at this scale, and wanted to know how I'd done the basing. Let's just pick this one up and have a little look at it closer. I quite like that actually, and um, well, I'll tell you now how I did it. Because I've got, and I'll take you through some of it, because I've got two chaps here. Uh, officer and his extra extra man. Um, so I'll show you what I do to do the basing. Now, many people when asked the same question would just say get some mixed herbs like these that you can get in the supermarket. What I did was probably a lot easier. I just went on eBay and Googled, because I get a lot of my scenic stuff from eBay, and Googled jungle basing. And what I found was a kit but I've put in here. Basically what came in the kit were two different grades in terms of how fine they are of like undergrowth or leaf scatter type stuff. Like the jungle underfoot. Plus some green tufts and some plastic um, jungle leaf type things. It was, uh, it was changed out of a tenner and um, well it's done me well really I've gone through half of my Aussie army doing it what I do is uh, mix up these two bags in the bottom of this here uh, thing paint um, paint the uh, bases an appropriate color a bit of PVA with glue and dip them in that and then sort of strategically place some bits like this and these green leaves and, and these tufts but what I'll do is I'll take you through the basing for these two guys and uh, you can see for yourself. Okay, step one, painting the bases with Steel Legion Drab or some similar sort of beigey brown before applying the basing material. Yeah, that's step one. Step two, with um, the bases soundly doused in some PVA, I've got a mixture of the two sort of grades of granularity of these two bags of material I got in my jungle basing kit here in the um, here in the tub and I actually got a few of these plastic green leafy things and sort of chopped them up small. Uh, the big log bits came in part of that bag there. So what I'm going to do now is um, liberally coat the bottom of the bases with their PVA glue um, in, uh, in the base here. Let's see how they get on. And there we go with the uh, base applied. Just going to wait for that to dry and then I'll add some uh, tufts and bits and pieces. We'll come back shortly to see how that's turned out. And there you have it. Relatively simple. I hope uh, you found it useful. Um, I cheated and brought, uh, <laughs> brought that kit, like I say, but it can be achieved with just buying yourself a few readily available tufts and using some cooking herbs or something similar like that but yeah there you go the models by the way are from artisan designs which i heartily recommend they haven't got as wide a range as some world war ii things but uh, i really do like those they've got uh, these plenty of germans and americans as well and some brits so go take a look but yeah there we go that's how i do my jungle basing i hope people who were interested found it useful thanks for watching